Um, welcome to the session on content and contest. Uh, my name is Philip Kubetsky, I'm the facilitator of this session. Um, the first presentation we have is C Contest by Georgia Yadachi and Azen Stefanov. Was that correct? Yeah, almost. <laughs> you're, you're dark, yeah. yeah, sorry. I knew, I knew there was something wrong with that. And yeah, please. Okay, uh, I will start. My name is uh, Arsen Stefanov, and uh, Philip almost had it. So I will start with a short presentation. After that, uh, I will hand over to George for a few minutes, and <clears throat> I hope we will have time for 5 10 minutes discussion at the end. So the point of this uh, is uh, Central and Eastern Europe contest, what we did, what we are going to do, what we are planning, do we have some plans or not. Uh, I will start with short, with brief presentation of, uh, you know, already Central and Eastern Europe. Uh, we had the idea to collaborate all the communities. Now we have 27 communities officially. And that was the idea, to stimulate growth for all Wikimedia projects. That was the idea. We had some past contests and we have, a, we have a lot of collaborations ongoing. For example, this was very nice, Hungarian Revolution. It was uh, in the last year, regional article writing contest. Short, but very positive. We have ongoing test wiki for uh, Thessaloniki in Greece. It's uh, international, but actually there are a lot of uh, guys from cent Central Eastern Europe <coughs> who contribute to this, from guys from Russia, Ukraine, Bulgaria, Macedonia and so on. So that's why we think it's Central Eastern European. We have a lot of uh, wiki camps, uh, ongoing Wikimedia, Fino Ugric collaboration, Sea Woman, uh, Sea Nature and many, many more which are not even listed. So. See, it's a very special and uh, very nice project uh, that is ongoing. One of the best, I think, in community in the world, if you compare to others. But let's concentrate on our biggest uh, event, which is Sea Spring. You know, the beginning was uh, in 2015. It was organized. We are organizing in in three years in a row, usually from uh, March to May. And uh, we have a lot of uh, communities, there are a lot of countries, you can see, everybody knows these uh, flags and uh, countries which are there. So, as a timeline, 2015, 28 article list, 20 land landing pages. It was very short, uh, we didn't have time to create it, really. 2016 we increased to 30 with 30 landing pages and 2017 17, almost the same result. That is brief, in brief the timeline. So I spent a few days to check the results in different countries. Uh, I would say we were expecting in 2017 to continue the growth from 2016. In some countries it happened in some countries not. And uh, let's say I checked five or six countries in Bulgaria, we have this on the left, which is 2016 good, 2017 almost the same. Same model is for Belarus. Poland is very stable, let's say every year they have uh, 600 articles from the proposed list. And this is uh, with minor di differences, or always six the Nobel 600. Albania, for example, these are the models. Uh, I'm, I chose the, the countries randomly. So Albania followed the same model, 2016 very big growth from the proposed list, 2017 drop. Czech Republic, for example, is the missing, <coughs> the, the, one of the biggest countries that are missing from 2017. When I spoke with my colleagues from there, they said we simply didn't have time to to organize it. Uh, but of course, yeah. uh, I can uh, comment on that uh, because these statistics could uh, not be correct. Yeah, as we, I know. Uh, this year the lists were shortened by uh, limited to 100 topics, uh, and almost all of them were way shorter yeah, than I will, uh, before. I will mention that. I will, I will. So, mm -hmm. that's all. Yeah, uh, I mean, uh, as, he sa as Martin said, uh, 
the statistics may be not correct. That's why I spent several days following every country article by article, uh, because I wasn't uh, sure about the statistic uh, that was made from, from the bot. I verified with my own eyes. That I will show you the model on the next page. Of course, there are excludes like Bashkortostan, for example. On the right, they have stable growth. The same was for Serbian Wikipedia, the same from Russia Wikipedia. I simply didn't have time and place to put all of them. And now we don't have time to discuss that a lot. But the model is this one. For, let's say, not very sure about the final statistic, but uh, 2015 we have big growth, 2016 and after that instead of continued with the same growth, the same pace, uh, we kept the same level. So we have to discuss what happened actually. Was it, were, are we tired of uh, this kind of uh, contest? Do we have to change something or not? Do we have to push it to make it more interesting and more fun <coughs> for the users or we have to continue the same way? Do we, do we expect uh, suddenly to continue with the growth for 2018 or not? Okay, that's the question. Did we stop? Can we make it more attractive? We don't want, for example, guys like this complaining uh, where is my article, why you have deleted it, or things like that. How to engage new people, their newcomers, to write an article. And we were discussing that in Bulgarian Wikipedia last year, and we had another idea. That was the, from where we started, from Wikipedia Adventure. It is on English Wikipedia. They tried to make something interactive with the users, to make it more interesting. They define the problem. Wikipedia is a very difficult environment for new users. Community has its own policies and customs. In reality, very few people edit Wikipedia, far fewer than those who read it or who have the capability or interest to do that. So, they proposed a solution to create an educational interactive game which can increase the interest. And we came with our own wiki games in Bulgaria last year which was in format of question-answer, question-answer, and for one week we changed the teams. For example, geography, sport, or things like that. And the end, the winner receives some small prize, let's say, book or something like that, from our own resources. And... Should, sorry, do you create content with this, or this is just who knows that more? Well, we created, actually, we create, uh, we organized a group, we prepared everything. No, 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 with, with this game, does it create any new content, the game no, itself? That was, that was, that was our mistake. So, we started with the game uh, in this format. One question, for example, this is from Geography. We start with a very easy question, just to attract people. And usually we grow with increasing level of, uh, we... Uh, the, se the last seven question is the hardest one. And that was question number one, which is the highest po point of South America, just to attract the users. And after that we provide Google Forms to users. They just have to answer, to give their username, and contact information if they want. Uh, the third isn't optional, it's not mandatory. And for example, for this question we have 111 responses, which is very good for a small wiki as Bulgaria. We have 70 active editors, that, that's all. And on the first day we received 111 questions. So we continue with the same. We provide answer from this, for this question, we provide next question on the next day. Usually at the same time, at 11 o'clock, at uh, 12 o'clock, at midnight. <coughs> This is how it looks for the organizers. These are the answers, the form that we receive. Answer, username, and the uh, third one is contact informa information, which I hide now because it's uh, personal information and uh, it's not good to be seen. And at the end of the first week, we had this. Seven questions, seven answers. After that, we collect everything. We provide, of course, reliable resources, as it should be. At the bottom you can see all the resources. And we chose the person who received the award. There is no participant with seven correct answers in this topic. With six correct answers there are four, so we choose them randomly, drawing a lot. 
one of them. And you can ask different questions, not only like question and answer, but you can provide a picture. For example, in our geography game, we uh, ask the question, which is the country on the picture? Can you recognize it? A lot of guys failed. They, they were not able to recognize it. But it, it is not something that you can browse in Google and just receive the answer, mm -hmm. because we try to make it not so easy, this game, for, for the users, just to attract their attention. Can you see which country it is? <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, as far as I remember, it's Burkina Faso from Africa. Oh. Yeah, there, uh, there were a lot of answers like Uganda, things like that, but, well, mo mostly correct one. So, these were our teams for five weeks. Um, I have to mention that we stopped because uh, we had to start C Spring, so it was February. Uh, we had Olympic Games, football, art, Bulgarian history and geography. <coughs> So I tried to collect the information, and you can see on, on the right side the number of users that replied, 400, 30, 700, 200, uh, Bulgarian history, for example, as every country in Central Eastern European Union collects much more attraction than anything else, and it has 1,000, which is, I would say, very good for, for a small wiki, as Bulgarian wiki we have two or three new articles per day, and that was very, very good for us. So this is the, the data, how it looks, the results in total. You can see average, which is on the left, and some of the games, more than average and less. This is the chart, Bulgarian history is in yellow. Well, art was the game with less interest. I guess art was the most difficult for, for the users. They are not attracted very much by art. They prefer football or uh, sport or things like that. But you have to choose the topic very carefully. You cannot put some topic which is not interesting for women, for example, or uh, which is interesting only for, for men like football. For... So, we had a lot of mistakes with this, and uh, this is my intention to speak about uh, mistakes. First, uh, okay, we organize it with a uh, small amount of money, just uh, for one book per week. So probably we can organize it better next time to provide some bigger uh, prizes. And uh, the question for us is, can we combine these two uh, contest. So I would like to discuss it maybe when Georgie finished. Can we combine somehow C thing with writing and editing articles and this wiki games, which is more fun for the users? Can we ask question in format? Can you provide a resource for some article? Can you write a sentence or two or paragraph in some article uh, instead of asking a question and waiting for their answer? Can we make them to do something in Wikipedia, not, not just providing them answer and waiting for the winner. That was, that is our question, can we make it? Because that was our mistake. We had only one new article for five weeks written for these uh, topics. Uh, we didn't ask them to do something on Wikipedia, we asked them just give us the answer. And they gave us. They were there, the users were there, but we simply were not able to, to push them to do something in Wikipedia. That was our mistake, because we want more of these guys that are writing, actually, or these, they are also writing. <laughs> so, uh, the problem, the problems that can be, instead of, uh, in front of this hypothetical new game that we will do, or we will discuss, is um, that the goal should be clear from the very beginning. We should have the very clear goal from the beginning. What we want to do, actually, uh, not just modifying uh, in the middle of the game what we want to do. We, uh, we need to know it from the very beginning. Uh, do we want users to write articles? Do, do, do we want them to provide answer? Or what exactly we want? This is um, the goal that we have to clarify. Also, uh, the prizes and awards should be clear. And if we are going to do this international, my proposal is to make it uh, 
bigger, let's say, first or second place uh, to go on Wikimania or to go on a Central Eastern European meeting or some bigger prize than usual to attract more, more users. Sorry, uh, and where was the game? Was it like a site notice? Oh, where was the link to the game? Uh, it was made only in Bulgarian Wikipedia. I know, I know, but where did Yeah, we we'll put it with central with notice okay. here, okay. on so the top. Okay, thank you. And uh, the next, that question, questions must be very well planned and very clear from the beginning. They should have only one possible answer, or uh, one li only one possible action. Because we had one mistake, for example, one question with two possible answers. And after that we spent uh, several days to explain our mistake, uh, to correct the... So that was a mistake. Uh, we have to plan it very carefully. The organizers should plan it very carefully at the beginning. And to provide one very reliable source for... Uh, let's say it's good to be international, like uh, Encyclopedia Britannica or something like this. You cannot argue with uh, uh, this kind of uh, resources. And about the organization, it's, it is very easy organized, this one. You need uh, one landing page with link to Google Form. You provide uh, access for this Google Form to these two or three organizers. And all you need is actually an account in social group like, uh, like Facebook or something just for organizers to, to run the, the game. Or you, don't, you don't have to do anything else. And at the end, you just collect the answer, provide link to the answers. You can do it for 15 minutes per day, not, not, not more. Well, outreach, if we are going to do this, if we, are, we will discuss it to do it internationally. In theory, we can have all the communities involved and we can fill our, our calendar. I know for some of the communities, there are empty calendars, let's say, from uh, January to March or from August to October. Not example for the Polish, they have a full calendar with events. They have, they cannot spend much time on this. But some of the smallest wiki, they can join this and uh, they can fill their calendar. For example, every week they can have different topic, different game. And it's easy and it's fun. It doesn't need much resources from the organizers. So that's the last from my presentation, question and ideas, but I will hand on now to George and after that I hope we will still have time to discuss something. Thanks. Yep. All right, so uh, have you, uh, if you ever had a an idea um, which was like, man, I, I just found out that 28th of September is the International Day of, uh, um, of Access to Information, right? Maybe I should do something about it on Wikipedia. But you discarded that uh, idea because it, uh, for you, um, if you think about it as a classical uh, wiki contest and, uh, and you know that it's uh, it's time consuming and uh, it's uh, hard to maintain and you need to find people and so on. I am here to, uh, to tell you that it is uh, uh, very easy if you do it, uh, uh, if you do it simple. Um, I have prepared for you a template of uh, how a, a, a one day challenge uh, can uh, look like. Um, so. This is actually based on a, on, a, on an actual challenge that's uh, run on Romanian Wikipedia. First of all, you have to uh, think about a hashtag for it. Uh, it will it will help you for socializing it on Facebook and Twitter, and it, it will also uh, help you uh, count the contributions because there is a tool in Wikipedia that that uh, looks for hashtags in the edit summaries. Uh, you will have to uh, provide a very very short. Um, Introduction and context for for the for why uh, uh, such a challenge is needed. Maybe some images here, and um, 
uh, a very visible um, link to the uh, to actually participating and at the challenge. What I use uh, uh, for um, uh, for this link uh, is uh, Petscam. Um, I am uh, last year, I believe, uh, at CE. I uh, uh, I um, spoke about Petscan, how how to use it. It basically uh, gives you a list of um, of uh, images or of pages or uh, anything you like. In my case, uh, it gives you a list of uh, images, um, and uh, and you ask uh, uh, the participants to do something uh, on these uh, pages to edit them. Uh, with some about some logic, um, and then you um, just uh, ha give them a, a few simple steps on how to uh, how to actually participate. And maybe if you uh, do it the second time, you um, um, uh, you show the results for uh, statistics for uh, for uh, the last uh, edition. And this is a working example. Um, as I said, the 28th of September is the International Day of Access to Information, and um, um, I don't know if you people know that UNESCO has has given uh, lots and lots of tons of uh, images and videos to to Commons, um, and uh, I was very pissed that uh, uh, none of them had um, um, Romanian translations. Um, they had uh, English descriptions uh, and nothing else. <coughs> Well, maybe Spani uh, Spanish tra tra translations too, and and French, but no Romanian. So um, uh, this quick challenge meant that in one day we uh, planned to translate uh, one uh, to translate twelve hundred uh, descriptions. Ooh. 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 <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I know, I know. Oh, I have a touchpad, I forgot. <laughs> okay, okay. 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 <coughs> so I just installed the virus. Um, yeah, and, um, and I assigned uh, a, uh, as I said, I assigned a hashtag, which is uh, actually the official hashtag uh, used by UNESCO, Access to Info Day. And uh, I announced it on uh, on the local community that uh, here we are uh, in just one day. Let's uh, add as much uh, content as uh, as possible in these images that UNESCO gave us. Uh, here I explained. Um, um, so this is Romanian language, okay? Here, here I explained uh, uh, why UNESCO gave us that information and why it is so important to uh, to. Uh, translate them in, uh, in, uh, in Romanian and to use them in uh, Romanian Wikipedia. And uh, because I, uh, I did all of that, uh, I did that in 10 minutes, I actually had time to do some screenshots and, uh, uh, and to explain how, uh, how you actually go to, uh, to Commons and, uh, and do the, uh, the... and make this... Uh, and write the description, all right. And uh, um, and we actually uh, were able to to <laughs> to to, um, to add 900, I believe, out of 1,200 in one day. And the second day, I went there and uh, did the the rest. Um, so it really uh, it really doesn't take uh, a lot of time um, if you do that. And um, and uh, you can use. Uh, a tool uh, which is available on uh, VMF uh, Labs, uh, and uh, I will. Uh, I forgot to do it, but but I will um, um, put that uh, the link to that tool in the other part. Um, you actually have the link to this template in the other part already, so I'll uh, I'll also show you the tool, and uh, if your uh, participants will uh, write, will we'll, they will include hashtag. Uh, in the edit summaries, uh, then you will have a, a, a bit of a stats uh, for that. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, you after the challenge is done, you go to user top pages and give them barn stars. You don't give them prizes because we are Wikipedia. Uh, right, and um, 
one other idea that uh, was implemented on Romanian Wikipedia, and this is just as ideas. You you can do all sorts of, of, of things uh, under this format. Um, other idea was uh, that uh, one day um, I observed that there is uh, this uh, uh, 16 African women translate, translated on. Somebody of you remembers? It was uh, it was this year, uh, I think back in March, and uh, for one day I think it was a. Uh, I I don't remember the date. So for for one day um, uh, I invited uh, members of Romanian uh, Wikipedia to write about these uh, um, 16 women, which were. Uh, 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 the biographies of, of which were selected in the international uh, contest. So, so you see what I, what we did here is that we took part in an international contest. That uh, the international contest uh, was one week long, but but beco because we don't have the resources to sustain that uh, that contest for Romanian, we did that only just for one day, and uh, under a simple challenge. And we uh, again used uh, the um, official hashtag. Uh, uh, with the help of which uh, uh, the, stat the statistics were made. All right, um, I don't have anything else to add. I will be very pleased to, to hear about your challenges that we, you will make uh, inspired by this. And um, also, uh, if you need uh, help with the PET scan, I mean, if you plan to use the PET scan in, in, uh, in, your, in organizing your challenge and uh, you need help with it, uh, I'll be able to um, to help with that anytime. All right. Uh, so uh, I think uh, time for questions and answers for both uh, me and Asen. Yes, so we're about um, ten minutes left. What was that? We have ten minutes left, right? Yeah. Um, no. Um. Please, Martin. Oh. Uh, okay, Georgi, can you tell about the results of these one-day challenges? Because one day is not much, and uh, how much can you do in that time? I I hope that nobody asked me that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just because the results are fine, but uh, what is not fine is that uh, on Romanian Wikipedia, it's uh, it's a it's a tradition that. Uh, only few, very few people um, participate in any kind of contests, and uh, in this contest, because it's, it is so short, we had uh, only two or three people, um, including myself, <laughs> and the co-organizer. <laughs> but we, uh, for for this uh, specific one about UNESCO, we had uh, two participants that were not organizers, and um, um, the task was to add uh, 1200 descriptions and we did that in one day and a half uh, for the um, 16 women of africa we had out of 16 you can count them one two five eight nine right so nine and ten all right so so the blue links w uh, were created um, which is actually pretty good because uh, if you sc scale that to see spring uh, you don't have ten, uh, 10 per day for sea spring from Romania. So you, it's, a, it's a really f good uh, um, um, opportunity to, to focus on, on one thing only uh, with these challenges. Okay. Uh, and uh, maybe I missed it, uh, the information, but uh, I like the idea of games, but uh, I didn't understand exactly how uh, it uh, helped to improve the content or to create something. Can I just mention that uh, that, uh, that format very much helps uh, uh, to, to, um, to teach uh, users how to read Wikipedia? Reading? As for you, for you. Okay, um, I, will, I will reply to Victor's question. Uh, that was our mistake. We didn't uh, improve the content of Wikipedia. That's where we fail. And uh, we would like to make it better next time if we are doing. Because we just push the users to answer the question, but uh, we didn't 
told them to do anything on Wikipedia and nobody did. We had only one article written for five weeks. That was our mistake and we um, realized that. I would like to add something to this. That uh, I think the idea was n wasn't bad because it was fun, interesting, and a lot of people participated. Yes. In it. Uh, I could imagine that it would work in a way that you advertise outside of Wikipedia, for not for Wikipedia, but everybody else, Facebook, something like that, and then somebody who who are who not edit Wikipedia or mm -hmm. probably doesn't know that that can edit Wikipedia. You, you, it is a contest, please participate. Ah, you can read Wikipedia. Yeah. Did you know that you can edit Wikipedia too? And then this this can be a successful format. That was our next mistake actually. We didn't use uh, social network uh, a lot. We just pronounced it on Facebook and we forgot about it. But we can use it a lot and uh, everybody will be attracted. I guess if we had used it, we would have twice maybe more users than usual, than these 300 per week. Mm -hmm. We could have 1,000 maybe. Okay, one more comment, sorry. Uh, that you mentioned several times that, that next time maybe you would like to offer higher prices. Yeah. And I'm not sure that is it a good direction. We, I had a bad experience with this, that every contest had a little, a little bit higher value, uh, value price because we wanted to involve more people and, and, and uh, more attention, but it was contradictory because we, there was more, no more people and so some people came to the contest because they wanted to win the prize. This is not about Wikipedia. So a lot of people, I, I, I like there are some, some I think Macedonia user group has this, this edit, week, weekly edit, edit thematics, then mm -hmm. they, they, they have one topic and they edit it and then they are happy that they did. And, and they are very successful with that. We don't need high prices, we are Wikipedia. And I think yeah, that's why so we if, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you give some small things mm -hmm. or, or memories that, uh, that I want this, then it, it's already valuable. This is my opinion. That's why we asked for your ideas and your uh, output, uh, because this is our suggestion. Maybe you have something uh, different. That's why we want to gather. Yes, please. Um, for the prices, I just wanted to um, say that's really an interesting thing, because um, with motivation, it has been proven in studies that um, if somebody has intrinsic motivation to participate, so they participate in something because they really enjoy doing that and they want to improve the content, then it can actually have harmful effects if you um, try to extrinsically motivate them with higher prices and so on. On the other hand, it can also have a positive effects by bringing people in who otherwise wouldn't know that they're interested. So it's a, it's a tricky thing, but we one thing that we um, experienced with prices um, for writing contests is that if you if you go higher, then people expect more the next year as well, and like they once got a sort of like a small shitstorm um, for writing contests. I said, okay, we're going to give those prices. And like, what? But last year it was a lot, a lot better. And no, yeah, I think that. Uh, that, that's what Tamash meant actually, that if we go higher next time we will have problem because yeah. the people are expecting more higher and more. Yeah, I agree. And, uh, I want just to also share some experience uh, which we had uh, this year in Belarus. Uh, Belarusian community organized uh, Wikiletnik, it was some, something like uh, conference or uh, camp uh, and uh, the evening we played a game which connected uh, to the uh, results of uh, CE Spring uh, so it was just uh, questions about uh, CE countries and uh, answer and uh, uh, people uh, who first answered the question uh, received the points and it was just for fun and uh, just <coughs> time of Thanks. Thanks a lot. Uh, we would appreciate this kind of experience from different events. I just want to, I don't know if you know the Wikipedia Asian man. 
contest, like they, the yeah. Taiwanese are organizing it, I think, the Taiwanese and Chinese, mm -hmm. and um, they're, they're not rewarding, they're rewarding with only with postcards, and so only if you've written... I received like, one, yes. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> I think that was, that is kind of nice reward, because it's not a prize by itself, and it's not for the best or something, but like everyone, I think, who wrote more than 10 articles got a postcard from the other one. And I think that is a really nice way of appreciating, mm -hmm. but not like appreciating, but really not with a prize, but just like say thank you for that. And I think that was kind kind of really effective, if you want to say. Yeah, so thank you for this reminder. I received postcard from this. I received postcard from Basel for sea women. I received uh, cookies from Azerbaijan for <laughs> something that I did in Azerbaijan. So I'm collecting all ideas and all. <laughs> thank you. Okay, actually, I wanted to go on with the uh, marketing idea about prices. We're running a competition now in Albania about the Wiki Woman Challenge. And the idea is to write at least one article per day, uh, something that has to do with the women subject. Could be a medical condition or uh, biographies. And it's been running for 130 days, and uh, we never skipped a day. And it, it was started uh, with three active contributors, and now we are nine. And uh, what we didn't predict is that now all the articles that we are writing on Albanian Wikipedia are translated into English one. And nobody from us who organized the competition had it as a goal. And now the, um, uh, the users itself are giving ideas and are just doing it which is quite great, but we never, uh, was a mistake, I don't know, we never thought about prices in the beginning. So we launched this uh, challenge and now it's ongoing but without prices. And uh, like a week before we were thinking with the other guy who is one of the organizers, uh, Liridon from um, Macedonia, Albanian from Macedonia, and we were like, maybe we should do a kind of an event for all these contributors because there are nine of them and they are writing at least one article so we have at least nine articles uh, per day about women biographies and including double because it, all these articles are, are also translated into English one so I don't know what motivates them maybe because they are uh, act I never met any one of them but Liridon and we promote it only on social media and I don't know how they found out about this one well, maybe because of the central notice or something and I don't know what worked this good for this one but uh, sometimes prices but I agree with um, maybe we should do better each year each year each year and some, somehow we, you don't know how to deal with that one uh, we, we have uh, um, an example about wiki love monuments last year that we did they were asking for higher prices so you're right about that one <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to give this example yeah, that without prices and it's working. It's a good idea to ask the users for some feedback, what mm -hmm. they expect actually from yes. where they have learned about this uh, contest. We never did it, so we have to do it maybe yes, next Yes, and we're time. launching the survey now to ask <coughs> all of, at least the nine of them, like, like yeah. what you want idea. as a thank you for doing this and for contributing even without asking. Yeah. So, yes, thank you. Okay, um, time is running out, yeah, so uh, a short. Yeah, just very short. Um, when I did the 100 wiki days from Russia, I also wasn't expecting anything. There are no prizes. Um, and I didn't know I would get a barn star, but the barn star, when I got that, I think those simple things that are just on the user pages are something that makes one proud, that makes one happy, and it makes one, it, it, it made me feel that it was appreciated and recognized what I did. Yeah. And if it's a bit more special like they did for the Asian month, they had the special design, that's also a very, very good idea. Yeah, especially yeah, for the long-term contributors, yeah. which what we are seeking. Okay. Um, we also had... Uh, okay. 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 So, um, we also had uh, Asian month and uh, people uh, joined the challenge. Uh, we didn't have any prizes. Uh, we only, I think, uh, we had barn stars. Uh, but also, I wanted to say, I think that we have to make a difference because 
uh, for Wikipedians, uh, for the experienced Wikipedians, uh, they will be probably grateful for the Barn Star. But again, uh, on the other side, if we want to attract new editors, we should probably not give them uh, huge prizes, but for example, on a Wikipedia competition, they can get uh, a book or uh, maybe some, uh, they can, I don't know, card for buying in the bookstore or something like that. So I think we can, th th those prizes are not big, but maybe are useful for new editors. At least something is. We don't want to become a capsulate uh, Wikipedia uh, bubble. Because for us, as Kristalina said, uh, she is proud to receive Barnstar, but it's not the same for a guy who is from outside. Yeah, he who doesn't, something. who can't appreciate that much. Uh, That's why maybe a little bit we will try to change. I know we're out of time, can I just reply to that? Sorry. Thank you. Um, there's actually a very interesting study by a Swiss researcher. Um, they did a project in German Wikipedia, but limited geographically to Switzerland. Um, and it was all newbies, and they got um, something similar to Barn Stars for um, what they did. And so they researched whether that had an impact on their um, contributions, on the length of their um, contributions and the quality. And it actually had a significantly positive effect, even you know just the Barn Stars. So there is a correlation, even if it's nothing material. Yeah, there are very different ways. We simply don't know which one to choose. That's what we, we are trying to discuss. Okay. Um, well, thanks for the discussion. <laughs>